Welcome back to the vlog, guys. It's gonna be a sad day. It's gonna be an emotional day. I can't say I'm really looking forward to it, but it has to be done. But before we get to that, let's go to breakfast. Today, we're taking the GT3 RS out for a rip. You mind filming the little cold start for the boys? It's been a while. Hey, come on, man. I had to take all these stupid wings off. You keep, no. you keep putting them back on. No. I ripped, I ripped the one off of the GT3 RS. Hey, that. Downforce. No, no more downforce. No more, no more downforce. Not, no more. No more downforce for us. Can you film my, can you? I don't think they want to hear that. Can you film your boy's cold start? Okay. Well, it's not really a cold start because it's Oh wait, did you just, did now. you put a new exhaust on this? Well, just headers. We haven't put like the rest of it on yet. So this Rip. is like, this is not even loud yet. Oh great. It's, just, it's really not that loud. As we start driving, I look in the <laughs> rearview mirror and I see the stupid spoilers back on the car. What is your obsession with spoilers? They're so funny. They're so funny. So lately, Sabrina and I have been obsessed with this one restaurant that does like acai bowls. Have you like build it yourself acai bowls? Oh, whoa, it's not a restaurant. It's not a restaurant. What? Well, it's food place. It's and a I bet you. It's I bet you everyone watching this video knows what it is. Me and TJ are really late to the game on this. It's called Ever Bowl, and it's like a subway for acai bowls. It's great. Watch everyone in the comments. Best breakfast ever. This is not gonna be good, boys. Chug it. The whole thing. Uh, oh, it's spicy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. saw on Instagram, now for most of you this really won't make a difference or like it probably isn't exciting for any of you guys, but they just built a huge skid pad not too far away from my house. It's like 45 minutes away from my house. And that skid pad is gonna allow drifting and they haven't had a track in San Diego in like 10 years that's allowed drifting. Why is that really good news? One, because we'll be able to drive someplace that's close because the closest track to us is like two and a half hours away. They're able to do it because in San Diego, there's no racing allowed. Like the county of San Diego doesn't allow any type of like motorized racing, but we live right next to like Indian reservations because we're in the desert. The Indian reservation can do whatever they want. Apparently some guy bought a piece of land on the Indian reservation and it's gonna hold a big track there. And actually, I just saw like this Instagram video from their Instagram account. And it's like a huge track. It's like a huge skid pad, which means we'll be able to do like drifting videos there. I'll be able to take Sabrina drifting there. I'll be able to teach like Sabrina's parents how to drive and do all that type of stuff. <laughs> I'm super finally. excited about it. It's really good news. I'm already like contacted them to try to figure out how we can like rent the track, go out and go drive it. It's just a big like empty parking lot, but still like for that to exist close to me is like the best news I've ever heard. And I'm really excited about it, so I wanted to share it with you guys. Well, we're gonna be driving up to West Coast Exotics today because of the title of this video, and I told you guys in the last video, I've really been saying it, we're gonna be starting to get rid of some of the cars and, and clear out some old stuff. Sabrina's making me do it, so if anyone's what? mad, I'm just I kidding. am not. I'm just kidding, she's not. But it's, it's for the greater good. And uh, today, one of them- it's to, it's to make room for all the new fun stuff coming. Wink, wink, hint, hint. It, it hurts, boys. It, it, it ain't easy. Today's video is sponsored by SeatGeek, and now that times are getting back to normal, and sporting events are back, concerts are back, and live events in general are back, and SeatGeek has tickets to all of them. SeatGeek gathers tickets from all types of events and puts it into one single page where you're able to choose tickets that best suit exactly what you're looking for and how much you're trying to spend. One of my favorite things about the app is that every ticket is rated between zero and 10, so you know how good of a deal you're actually getting. They're also able to show you what your seat location will look like once you're actually there, so you really get an idea of what to expect before you get there. 
SeatGeek is giving you guys the code TJ to get $20 off of your first SeatGeek purchase. All you have to do is click the links down below and download the app and use code TJ at checkout and you're gonna save up to 20 bucks off. Thank you so much for SeatGeek for sponsoring today's video and now let's get back to it. And I'm sad to say that the RS has been such a cool car to own, but I don't love it as much as I thought I would, which is what's, I'm just kidding. It ain't the RS. You think, you, nah, it ain't the RS. But the Mark V has been cool. I just don't drive it anymore. And I want someone else to experience the Street Hunter kit. And this is the first one. Just kidding. It ain't the Supra. But this car does pain to sell it today. I've had it from the very beginning. It's the OG car. It will always have a special place in my heart. And if you believe that that would be the car that I'd be selling, you be a fool, because it ain't that. It ain't that. But I just have no love for the Jay-Z's anymore. The Jay-Z's, the motors, they're honestly not that good. And this car is honestly just really slow. Gotcha. It ain't the Supra either. In all seriousness, the car that we're gonna be getting rid of today is the one that's gonna pain me because I, I just love it. It's so ridiculous in every way, shape, or form. It never needed to be invented, but it was, and that's what just makes it so great. But I just don't ever find myself really driving this car, and then when I do, I oftentimes can't fit it anywhere. 2017 G550 4x4 squared, one of the coolest cars I've ever owned, and I will just, let this be known right now. They are coming out with a model next year. They're making a brand new version that has the newest features from the G-Wagons, and I am buying one. Let me just say this, I am doing everything in my power to get it as soon as it comes out. This is the 2017 G-Wagon, and I think it's when they hit 2018s is when they have the pretty much the new updated, updated models where they actually drive phenomenal. These cars, the 2017s and below, which that's what this is, they honestly drive like boats. They don't drive bad, but they just drive like super huge monster trucks, and it's kind of not annoying. It's just not as pleasurable as if you drive a new one. It's like, wow, this is the new ones drive like fast cars cars, but they're big cars. These things drive like big, fast trucks. There's a difference. It's kind of hard to explain. How are you feeling right now? I'm kind of sad, honestly. I been... This car will be the car I think I will miss the most. I drove this car more than you did. So yeah, so we bought this car with 4,000 miles. We're almost at 10,000. What? Yeah. Damn. Put a lot of miles on this car. It's just so unique, so cool. The color is amazing. Like I'm, I'm telling you guys, next year when this car comes out, I'm buying it, 100%. What, what colors do you think they'll make it in? I don't know, but I want to get one that's just as obnoxious as this. Oh no. Absolutely. Oh. It's one of the most unique cars I've ever seen. It's so cool. It just sucks, it's like right when we bought it, it's right, we're right when we went into like peak heat. So all the camping trips, it's like right now, it's 98 degrees and 99. And the farther out you go, the hotter it gets. And it just never really got used for that. We did a couple trips with it, but I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna miss it dramatically. But the money we will get from selling this is gonna go towards some really cool stuff later this year that I don't, uh, I'm not gonna talk about yet, but you'll see it soon. It's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth it. That's all I gotta say. It's worth it. But having sitting quarter million dollar cars in the garage, there's better things we could do with that right now. And that's what's important. Like trading this in for an Urus. No, no, not. <laughs> Not what we're gonna do. Not what, I mean, whenever you go to West Coast Exotics, it always just leads to more stupid decisions. Oh, this no. time I'm not gonna be dumb. This time I will not find anything. This time I will make sure, although there is a P1 that's there. Oh no, that's a McLaren. But, yeah, McLaren's are poop. McLaren's are poop. Oh, uh, <laughs> this is the last time I'm gonna drive this car. Oh, it's sad. Damn. I'll never drive it again. Damn. I drove this more than you. Dude. The new one. We have a four by four squared neighbor over there. Should we go say goodbye? I know, we do have a neighbor that has one. What a tragedy. Dude, this is gonna be an emotional drive for Tragedy. Them. I didn't film it, but I just stopped at my haircut spot. So if it looks like all of a sudden I just lost all my hair, it's because I just got a fresh cut mid vlog. We're about uh, five minutes outside of West Coast Exotics. We're gonna cry a little bit. We're gonna, we're gonna do a little memorial and we're gonna say goodbye to this thing. I'm 
I'm actually tearing up a little bit. Are you serious? I'm gonna miss this, the dude. Yes, I'm so serious. This car's the best. And whoever buys this car next, if it's one of you guys, that'd be amazing. I need you guys to let the 4x4 live on and live a good life. Don't touch me, don't touch me, sir. Normally when we come here, it's for happy things and not sad things. But today, oh boy, it's, it's a sad day. Hunter didn't tell me where to, hey, you look kind of good in this car. I don't want to leave, I don't want it to go. Wow, that's a fancy door. Every time you come here, they just have more RS's and more RS's. Well, actually, you have GT3, RS, GT3, RS, GT3, GT4, and then you have a 992 Turbo S, but it's already sold. But look at this. This is the same color that we have on our RS, except it has the silver wheels. We have black, but this has the red taillights. So if you guys ever wondered, do you like the red or do you like the whites better? I don't know. I kind of like the red. I, I kind of dig the red, but the white's still really cool. Just finished signing the papers. I'm gonna leave that on there. I was, I was gonna take it off, Hunter was like, leave it, so it if goes, someone comes and buys it, they always get your jet tag. It goes to the new owner regardless, so. <sighs> wow. Sad day. Kiss a goodbye. Sad day. Look how depressing this is. We just have a big empty, a big empty hole in the house. Yay. It just doesn't feel complete. You know what we could do? Back those cars in <laughs> right there. What? <laughs> what? To, to, to. Those look like poop right there. And then maybe, maybe we could get a shed to store all your bikes so they aren't just sitting there. Yeah, prob probably. Okay, um, that poop. He little pooped on the floor. Well, he actually pooped over there, but then he also accidentally, Sabrina! Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> actually, you know what I'll do? I've been temporarily parking the side-by-side, -side, just kind of right here. It kind of fit quite nicely, but I'm actually gonna move it down there. And I'm also a little bit worried that me putting it in like the bushes right here is gonna lead to a bunch of spiders and stuff getting inside. That might sound like a dramatic claim, but it is something I think about every single time I drive by it when I leave. I'm like, wait, what if I'm just like getting this thing infested with bugs and spiders and I'm a little worried about it. Oh my God, there are so many spider webs in it. <laughs> oh, I don't know if you guys could see that, but I don't know if I can get in this car. Oh, oh my God, I regret it. I regret my decision. Kona, do you want to go in first, bud? There's like, oh, I hate spiders, everyone. Oh God. Okay, we're gonna get in it and we're just gonna start it. And we're gonna get out of here. Oh, if I see one, I'm dead. If I see one, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna let this start up and hopefully the spiders be like, oh what, we're moving? I'm bailing. All right, here's my solution to all of these spider webs that have nested inside of the 4x4. Oh my God, that's how much I miss it. That have nested inside of the side-by-side. -side. Goodbye. Goodbye, all you dumb spiders. Go away and never come back. Thank you. Hello everybody, here I am on my couch. I'm about to watch Jungle Cruise that I just spent $30 on, and behind the camera is TJ. If you guys don't know what Jungle Cruise is, it's a, it's a story about a cruise through the jungle. <laughs> We're ending today's depression with a movie night. Sabrina just spent $30 <laughs> on Jungle Cruise. That's how we're ending tonight. You're really not gonna put in that whole clip of me? No. Guys, I just filmed the best clip for you and TJ won't even put it in. <laughs> <laughs> Was that real or fake? I don't even, I don't even. It sounded, it looked pretty real. Oh my God, guys. We need popcorn. Yeah, go fire it up. Sabrina says thank you so much for watching. To Sabrina says Netflix. thank you so, so was really sad because he got rid of the G-Wagon and it was his favorite car to ride in. Right, Coney? Remember that snow trip we did? We put them in the back seat. Oh yeah, Coney! That was so fun! But we're gonna get the bigger and better one when it comes out, right? Okay, that was just gross. 
Thank you so much for watching today's video. I will see you guys in the next one because we're about to sell something else. It doesn't yeah. end here. I'll see you guys very, very soon. Peace out and keep Wait, moving. Wait, keep me forward. updated.